If you've been a fan of this channel for a while, you may have seen me build one of these before. But this one is quite different, and stick around to the end of the video because I'm going to tell you how you can win this thing. As you can see, this bionic arm has some upgrades over my last one, and really this video is to show off laser cut parts and also show you something in aluminum rather than steel. I'm pretty new to aluminum, so you and I are going to learn together. You know the drill, grab your hammers and let's get started. These lovely parts were sent to me by Sen Cut Sen, made in the USA, which is awesome. I'm very impressed with how these parts came out. They look awesome. All of these parts are made out of 40 thousandths, 50, 52 aluminum, but you have other options as well. You probably won't get the happy holidays thing because I got this before Christmas. You can see how perfect these parts are. And they're already cut. Cutting is the worst part of this entire process, so this completely eliminates this. And soon you'll be able to order all of my templates pre-cut from Send Cut Send and completely eliminate the headache of cutting from your life. Here I've got all the parts that are going to be dished. Not all the parts get dished, but these parts do. And I've got the backside marked with an X to keep everything straight. Here I've got a teardrop mallet and I'm working it on the sandbag. You can also do this in the dishing stump. This will work just fine. If you've been following my Facebook or Instagram pages, you know I've been building these Rocketeer jetpacks and I've been using 3003 H14 aluminum. And that stuff is a lot more malleable. This is very springy and very stiff stuff, so it's very good for this kind of fantasy style armor. Here I'm getting all the bumps out with the English wheel. An English wheel is not required for this kind of work, but it makes it a lot easier. You've seen me do this with a homemade planishing stake before in previous videos. Now I'm using a metal hammer to get a little bit more curvature in it. It wasn't quite enough to do it with a plastic hammer. And now I'm just, you know, flattening the general shape and making it pretty close to the general shape I need before taking it to the English wheel again. And after wheeling it another time, this is what it looks like. You can see the spot here in the center though is not quite up high enough. So I'm going to take it back to the stump, do a little bit more, and wheel it again. And now we've gotten rid of that ugly flat spot. And this looks like a deltoid muscle. Now that I've got the basic shape, I can fit it against myself to see if it fits and works right. I need to shape it by hand a little bit more and bend it, but it's pretty close. Same process for the smaller parts. This is the bicep piece. Mirror finish. Of course, these parts have to be bent a bit by hand because they have to interact with each other and where they made up they have to be uh, bent at the edges so you will have to do that and the bicep area is the toughest part to figure out you'll have to do a lot of twisting and bending of this part to get it to match up with the tricep speaking of triceps this is the back of the arm where the triceps are on this bionic arm one of the parts and this is the other tricep part as you can see, it's bent very easily in this pinch roller. However, you do not need this. You can just round it on a piece of exhaust pipe like you've seen me do in previous videos. Now, some of the parts have an edge that needs to be bent over before you can do the rest of the work. I'm just going to use a seamer tool and I'm going to bend over the edges. This will give me a nice, clean, perfect edge and it also will double up the edge to make it a little bit stiffer. As you can see, it looks very nice and it's perfectly straight. Now I've got the parts taped together temporarily. As you can see, this is what I was telling you about before, where these parts do not mate properly. Uh, they'll have to be twisted and moved around and you have to fit them against your body in order to get these parts to get together perfectly. Now this step is optional, but I like doing this. Uh, this is a basically a planishing stake made of a polished railroad spike and I'm just taking a rawhide mallet and just gently 
turning the edges down. As you can see, the piece on the left is not done. It's very flat and dead. And this side is done. As you can see, it looks a little bit more organic, like a real muscle. And that's the whole point of this, to make it look like real muscles that maybe a robot would have. Now I marked off the holes where I need to rivet this to the leather later on. And use a center punch to mark all the holes. And then a power punch to punch the holes. You can also use a drill, uh, but power punch will give you nice clean holes without any cleanup. Here I've got some regular store-bought hinges and I'm using leather rivets or rapid rivets to attach them together. This will not open up this far once you complete the, the build. It just opens up far enough to so get your arm into it. I changed the design a little bit here. I'm not going to be using a vent like I did before. So I added this recessed piece. And I did not go over how I made this spring latch in this video, but I have a dedicated video specifically for spring latches. If you want to see that video, click the upper right hand corner of your screen. As you can see, it slips together just nicely but it wants to come open all the time, so I did make an adjustment which I will go over in a minute. I wanted to add some pistons this time, so I used some 3 16 brake line, some 1 8 inch steel rod, and some RC car shock mounts. This is a step drill bit to make these big round holes and just cut out the centers in between. This is the addition I was talking about before. In order to keep this thing shut, this, the metal is so springy that it wants to pop open. So I just looked through some drawers in the garage and I found uh, a toggle switch, an electrical toggle switch, and I opened it up and took it apart, cut it apart, and just made it so that I could screw this thing down and keep it shut. It's unique and it's much cleaner than the straps I used before. Simple, elegant solution. This is lambskin leather, three ounce. As you can see, it's got a bit of stretch to it, which is important. And I laid this thing out on the leather and gave myself a basic marking where, where it laid out. And then started to rivet it to the leather. Here I'm using rapid rivets to attach everything together just leaving a bit of space in between each of the muscles. And the shoulder piece going on, the deltoid. Marking it here, popping a hole, and attaching that as well. And for the hand, instead of using the bionic arm hand, I use the gauntlet 12 hand. If you haven't seen that video, make sure to click the upper right corner of your screen to check that one out. And there you have it guys, as you can see it looks a lot like my previous one, just a lot more elegant and much more finely crafted. And you have a chance to win this one. I really like this one a lot better than the previous one, and it was a lot of fun to build. Aluminum is actually really fun to work with, I like it a lot. Very different than steel, but once I got the hang of it, I think I like it a little bit better. And now let's get to the part of the video you've been waiting for, what you need to do to win this thing. You'll have to jump through a few hoops and do a little investigating. Number one, make sure you're subscribed to this channel and you have the bell notification set to all. Number two, follow the link in the description and subscribe to the Send Cut Send channel as well. Number three, there is a hidden message somewhere in this video. It will look something like this, but of course this is not the hidden message. You will need to find this hidden message and email it to me at d at davidjguyton.com. If I don't respond to your message, that does not mean you didn't win. The first person to send me the correct message will be notified by email on March 1st. If no one has sent me the correct message by that time, the bionic arm will be auctioned off instead. This secret message is very hard to find, so pay very close attention to the entire video. There's no purchase necessary to win. I just want to give away something cool and I want to do something to help promote a great company like Send Cut Send. 
All of the information you need about this is going to be in the video description. Be sure to see my full-length narrated tutorials where I show you how to make real armor with ordinary tools. Be sure to subscribe and click that bell so you get all notifications when I put out new videos. And if you want to see all the behind the scenes stuff, find me on Facebook and Instagram at the links you see on your screen. And while you're here, check out some of these other videos I've got.